Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar Talk with Cougars Bay. This is where we have the weekly talks, uh, just about random stuff that might pop into my mind that uh, might be pretty interesting to see in the world of ESO. Make sure you guys check out our Twitter at Cougar Gaming ESO, Cougar City Gaming on Facebook and Instagram, and of course, check us out on YouTube. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe on our YouTube and turn the notification bell to, so you can see when we post videos. Now, the the best part about these Cougar Talks is that it's it's a pretty fun thing to just come up with random stuff that we can talk about. Well, one, one good thing is definitely a shout out to our Cougar City Chill Team. Um, this is one of the POVs that is from the run that we had uh, last night. And as you guys can see, we're in Cloud Rest, hard mode. We're doing some f some stuff. This is uh, Jen's, um, not Jen's POV, this is uh, Star's POV. This is our tank. And we actually got it done last night, finally. A lot of the guys and girls deserve that skin. So congrats to the team. But now back to the real talk. Um, Izzard actually said something yesterday that kind of popped into my mind. Because we've been talking about, you know, how RNG is in the game. And how that affects, you know, like what character you're in and, and whatnot. Well, Crackpot earlier, like a few a few months ago, he mentioned that... He does get better RNG with certain characters and um, certain characters he doesn't. But Crackpot being the person that he is, he will go and murder a town uh, in ESO. He'll use the Blade of Woe and murder a town. Uh, you don't think he will? Yeah, ask him. He will. Which brings me to the other point. Izzard said something yesterday. He's like... Do you remember in the Mages Guild quest line how if you save the girl, but you don't get the points, you're doing good deeds in the game. If you use your Blade of Woe, you're doing bad deeds in the game. If you help out the, the people in the zone, like, you know, the merchants that are getting attacked and whatnot, you're doing good deeds in the game. If you rob the merchants, you know, extort them, you're doing bad deeds in the game. He says that that might have, there's a little karma ticker that might be going on there. And that could mess up with your RNG. Now, obviously, this is basically a conspiracy because I don't know if it's true or if there's such a thing. But he has said that he tends to have better RNG with characters that he doesn't do bad deeds with. And if you must use the Blade of Woe, like, go do it in a character where you're not going to be farming anytime soon, basically. So, that's that's a pretty cool thing that, um, that we were talking about last night. And I was like, you know, <laughs> I've murdered a lot of freaking people uh, recently on that. So, I'm just wondering... Is that really a thing? Because if it is, then <laughs> my main character is screwed. Because that's all I've been doing. I've been murdering people um, in, in Stormhaven. I've been mur murdering nobles, drunkards, and provisioners. Um, trying to get some um, furnishing drops to, to drop. So <laughs> I was like, oh, shoot. That really sucks. Because... <laughs> My RNG is definitely out the window. I'm murdering, stealing, I'm being a heathen. And I definitely did uh in in Skywatch, I'm being a heathen and doing a lot of stuff that I shouldn't be doing. So and I mean it's it's kinda interesting, so I'm just wondering if that's if that's the case that you know, maybe that that is a thing. It could be, um, you know, as far as RNG, like, it, there could be a ticker. So, you know, next time that you make a new character, you know, if you want to make a farming character, 
then, you know, you can say, oh, um, I'm, I'm not going to do anything bad. You know, make sure you guys help out the zone people and, and do what you need to do. And try to get that RNG to like maybe be a karma RNG. And if anything, I mean, it's called role playing. Role play being good. Like, um, if you guys haven't seen the movie Free, um, Free Guy, I think, with Ryan Reynolds, like, he's in a video game and he's the good guy. So he's role playing being the good guy. Be like him. Role play, be the good guy. And, you know, maybe you'll get rewarded for your good behavior. I don't know. Um, like I said, this is this is a conspiracy at this point. I'm not really sure if, like, this is a thing. But uh, Izzard said he has, he has done that before. And it seems to him that he gets better drops if he's doing that stuff um, that way. So that's that's kind of how how it is you know in 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 the thing so i'm just wondering if you know if there's something with that if if there is you know a specific something with that and in other news um this this pov over here is from jen she is one of our healers in our chill team so there you go congratulations to to the team for again for making that done they they uh did a lot of work progged quite a bit heavily and you know finally are rewarded the this coming patch is going to be interesting so we uh i know the team wanted to get it done before the patch the new patch started which uh brings me to to the thing you know if you want to be part of teams like this you can um we are technically full in our chill team um but we do need subs every once in a while so if you're interested in that you can um, i can't guarantee you a spot in the sub list until you know somebody has real life commitments that they have to deal with um or you know we do we do replace people every once in a while for um not doing what they need to be doing so you know that that might get you a spot on the team but like i said it's that's that's the case we do have our pvp nights with scoring music um she is doing every saturday night make sure you guys check it out it's on our discord you can sign up on our discord we have our Monday Night Madness, and, you know, it's Monday Night Madness. You got to check with Mrs. Piddle, Fiddle. Monday's at 7 p.m. Eastern, you know, PvP, obviously sign up in Discord. You can message scoring, but a lot of it is, you know, in our Discord. And, um, you know, make sure you guys uh, know that we have a weekly trader in the route. Please, please, please put all that you can into that trader this week because we paid a lot of money and make sure to thank Izzard for actually footing up a quite large portion of that bill he asked me the other day he's like cougar can we go to the tree and I said sure you know like we need the money to go to the tree but obviously you know if if you want to foot some of the bill we can definitely do it if you guys want to do something like that, you you most definitely can come up to me and you know let's say hey Cougar, let's go to Mournhold for a week. But just so you know that there is gonna be a little bit of a hefty gold amount that needs to be donated to the guild in order for us to make that possible, because we do not make Mournhold or uh, Gratwood gold every week. So we're a donation base. We're not, um, you know, we don't ask for fees. We just ask that, if, you know, you donate what uh, what you can. And then, you know, we get a trader. <clears throat> but we also have, you know, our Monday night events. And then our Friday spot has a team that um, 
you know, it's starting up with trials. And then we have our Tales of Tourney, um, Tales of Trivia Tournament, which is coming up in September. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, I will have the video for that pretty soon to, to announce it. And then we will also post it on Discord. And, you know, Discord is the place to be, guys. Like, I know a lot of people hate social media and such, but it does help. Uh, Discord does help, so, like, make sure you guys figure that out. It's it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice tool that that we have for the guild. So, make sure you guys uh, get into that. Now, <clears throat> in Discord, we have, you know, the automaton. We have, like, a price checker kind of thing. Now, those that price checker is, like, more of a PC kind of thing, but... For most stuff is actually pretty dead on, so it's it's pretty dead set for for a lot of stuff like motifs and and whatnot. It actually tells you the right price in such uh, patterns is one of them, and it it will actually tell you you know what the pattern is legit going for. There are some patterns that that are not correct. The price checker like will tell you oh it's only sixty k when you know. It's it's more of a rare pattern, but those are very very far and a few. So when you're out there farming, you know, getting that uh, good karma, then you know you can definitely do that. Now, um, one thing that we just looked at that POV right now, <laughs> I saw that there was three meteors, you know, from from Galley, and man, they killed it like right on time. It's it's beautiful. Um, as you can see, like, they're about to kill it. I think only one person died in Execute. And then, uh, I think both died at the end there. And I think somebody got him up, yeah. <clears throat> so, it was a pretty awesome, uh, awesome thing. There's, you know, a little Horfrost there bringing it to the tail. The fires are, we get two fires in Execute. Um, I don't know if you guys know what um, what it is. And I told the healers, I was like, just barrier and execute. Like, we're not going for Griffin Heart. We're not going for the speed run. Interestingly enough, had we actually resetted this and started over, we would have had the speed run. So, it's, it's pretty awesome. And, I mean, watch the bar swaps. Like, the bar swaps are, are legit. So... They are legit. It's it's great. And look at that. Jay coming in with the fire. Um, that's what I was saying. So Bob died in execute. And I, I am over there. So I picked him up. I actually picked him up on the other side. Because I was like, no, we got to pick. I got to pick up my buoy. I got to pick up my buddy. Got to pick up my buddy. And I mean, this is this is a pretty fun time. I just wanted to to talk about this accomplishment that the the guild has. And I mean, this this is pretty fun just to to watch that come true, I guess. And a lot of people, you know, with the with the hoarfrost coming in. And then Jen's like, screw it. I'm going to barrier this bitch. <laughs> and they got it done. I mean, it's it's so nice to see people actually get that skin from the get-go. It's, it's wonderful. Like, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing to see that. So, definitely something fun and cool to see the team get that and I mean I couldn't be I couldn't I couldn't be more proud of the of the team <clears throat> to be honest I, I really couldn't but um, if you guys want to watch some of those POVs you can head up to uh, I know Starve has this POV up in, in YouTube and then Jen has hers um, I believe the 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 guild is subscribed to both their channels 
so you guys can actually watch it. If not, just ask them. They'll they'll send you a POV of, of their stuff, um, I'm sure. So if you guys want to get into that situation later, then, you know, you kind of have like a little bit of a place to start with with that. And all in all, I just wanted to, to have this talk, you know, to congratulate the chill team. And then to just talk about that little karma, uh, being a good guy in the game and playing the game, you know, in, in, a, in a good way might provide you better RNG. So, you know, thanks again. Make sure you guys check out our, our Patreon, um, become partner so you can get a shout out from us. And our boosters, Boss Styles, Cookers Bay, Score Music, X Reading X, and Merc. Thank you guys for boosting our server. We are completely boosted, which means that we have all the perks on Discord that we need to have. <clears throat> so make sure you guys do that. And, you know, just make sure you guys get more involved with the, the guild. It's, it's definitely doable. So, so thanks again for watching. Have a good day.